Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna make pop-up cards with the die from Scrap Diva Designs. And these are so much fun. You can send them flat, but then they pop up when you get them. You can see the layers in there. So I've got a couple already made and I'd love it if you join me to make another one. Thanks. All right, let's get started. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create the pop-up card itself. Now these dies are from Scrap Diva Designs and I am totally loving them. I could play with them all the time and I foresee me using them for all sorts of holidays and just for fun. So here's the dies that we're going to be working with. First of all, we have the front and the back, kind of the tall steeple house pages and we'll go ahead and I've already cut out the smaller one and the bigger one just wanted to show you what these dies looked like so here we've got the brown part and then this one is going to be what the pattern is okay Go ahead. You can see that the stitch lines are here on the front. That's how you'll know that they're the front. I am going to use my Nuvo glue, which I can't, I just love it. I like the Verity glue too, but um, sometimes this is just easier and it never clogs up. Never, never, never. Love it. Got it from Frank Garcia Studio. So this one goes there on the front. And we'll go ahead and burnish it with the bone folder. Wipe away the rest of the adhesive. And you don't have to, but I like to put something on the back. And the paper I chose for the back is these little people. I think they're just so adorable having fun in the summer. Move those over there. Okay. And center it on the back. And varnish with the bone folder. Make sure it's okay. Yes. While we're here, I'm gonna go ahead and fold where this needs to be done. I'm gonna fold here, and then we're gonna fold here, and here. And this paper is, I don't even remember where I got it, um, but it's got a texture on the front part, and it's just flat on the back. So the textured part I've used on this front, you won't be able to see it when you do it this way, but it'll still be fine. So we've got the front and the back of those. Get that down there. Next thing we're gonna do is the envelope looking one, or envelope, however you prefer to say it. I think I say both. Okay, so here is this piece. And then the th we have three little triangles. So I'm going to do um, this big triangle first and center it. It's easier to center the side pieces once you have that going. So right under this here and make sure I have the same amount of room on the bottom and the top. Burnish it, get rid of that extra adhesive. Now, these are a little bit different. Took me a little bit to figure out how to put these on. Uh, I keep, kept trying to put the wrong one in the wrong place. So, the way this one matches up is with this little bandana here. 
and we'll do the same thing. Try to make sure that the brown that's peeking through is the same all around. And matching up the shirt and this little donut down here. How adorable is that little donut? Okay, do some burnishing. All right, so we have those pieces. I'm gonna go ahead and move this over to the side a little bit more. I wanna keep it in the picture just so you can see what it's gonna turn out like. And then the pop-up piece is this die here and I've cut it out, but I also cut out a square here. I just thought it would look nicer with some color on that one. So we've got, got our base pieces together. Now we, we've got our base pieces made. Now we're gonna put them together. Okay, I'm gonna use my tear tape to put on these pieces in the interest of time. More tear tape, got this on Amazon. And I believe it's quarter inch. Yep, quarter inch. Take these two off. We're going to fold them back like this. And find it easiest to line it up just a smidge from this fold here. So, that one. And then the cool thing about a pop-up card is that it actually pops up and that does help when we're putting it together. And I'll show you how it pops here. So it lays flat like this and then the sides make it pop up. You can see how it moves. So, all right, so we have those sides. Now I'm going to put some of the tear tape on the other part that will hold the front. That's a little piece, we'll use that. Here we go. So, some tear tape here, because we're gonna be doing it on this side. Get down there into place. More tear tape. The last ones I did, I um, used my glue, but I have to get these in the mail tomorrow and I don't wanna wait for this. I don't want, didn't wanna wait for a heavy amount of glue on those. Take off the strip on both sides. Now, this one's a little bit difficult because you have got different pieces coming from different directions. So I line this one up right here with that fold. You can see where I've lined it up. Still has some movement to it. And then I'm going to line this one up with this fold. And smush it. Smush it down and it's got enough movement to lay flat. Oh, I also have piece these pieces don't come with it, but I like I think it's really nice to have on the sides just so that there's something there. Also, it will reinforce it having another layer of paper. I ran this through my Xyron sticker maker, so that's where I got that from. Okay, so we have our base, and the next thing we're gonna do 
is make the banner. Okay, so this is the basic die for the bow banner from Scrap Diva Designs. And what I love about this, and I don't know if she planned it this way or not, but the banner pieces line up perfectly with these triangles. So, so happy to find that out. And there's that die. What we're going to do, I already cut out the basic die part and I put some vellum on the bows. Show you that. So there's a little bit of vellum there just to give it some more dimension. I love me some dimension and texture. I also, with that bow banner die, comes these little teeny itty bitty hearts and I put those on like the knots of the bows. So, I also used my Xyron to make these into stickers so it's easy just to pull these off and stick them on one two and three ah, I think she just likes to jump okay now we have these little keys and let's see I think I'm gonna put the longer one on that side this in the middle and that one on that side I've already cut these out and I've actually adhered them to some foam so they pop a little bit so this one we put right on the stitch marks of the scalloped triangle same with this one and same with this one all right so we have that that matches up with this and the next thing that we're gonna do is glue this down okay so for putting this banner on i am going to use glue and not tear tape or my xyron because it, sometimes you need to like fiddle with it a little bit to get it to be in the exact right place and if you have a tape based adhesive then that is not going to happen so we're going to do the middle first always do the middle so that it lines up so that you have it on the right sides and I learned that lesson earlier on a different one and it looked really funny so matching it up to the middle and I'm actually going to let's see this is a little bit difficult to place okay I'm gonna use one of my craft clips from Dollar Tree in love with those things I love them I have the largest size and then I think I have like 24 of this size and then we're gonna let's go ahead and do this banner here we'll do the um little tiny heart bows last okay so we've got that one there here comes our clip put it in the right place there we go there 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 okay and then here's some glue on that one put that there I'm trying to make these so that they look like they're down more it's a little bit difficult but we're fine well we'll just have to do one down and one kind of to the side okay and I'm gonna glue down the bows. Eee. And the other one, we'll see where this decides to land. Thought maybe I could pull it. Yeah, just using my fingernails like a tool. Put those there. And we're gonna kind of turn the these bows too, so that they are parallel. 
to the bottom of the card. A little bit on each side of this bow so it stays there. I can't really clip this because of where it is. So I'm just going to have to push it down as much as I can. I'll do the same thing over here. A little glue here, a little glue here. And push that down that way. Okay. Take off my clips. And now we're going to work on the parts that pop up. All right, I've got out my ephemera pieces to put onto this pop-up card to finish it up. I am in love with this right now. This little apartment building with a taxi cab. You can see the little flowers in their window. I just think it's so cute. So I'd like to put it in the middle, but it's not really the center of attention. So I am going to put it down here on this side. So I can put some other stuff over there. We'll use the Nouveau glue to stick it in there. And I'll press it down there. I think that should hold because it's paper on paper. Make sure it holds each way that I move it. Okay. Now, oh, I know, I have this camera and there is a whole set of foam stickers that are photography oriented, technology oriented. So I have this one, it's a foam sticker and it's sticky on the back. So I'm gonna use my trick that I've used before with you guys. All right, stick it on where I need to be. Now you can see back here, this is where it's still sticky. We're going to get our cornstarch out, put a little bit on our finger, just a little bit, and rub it on the back of there. Takes the sticky tackiness off, off of it. A little bit more maybe. There we go. Okay. Let's see, not sure what to put on the front. I was thinking of this one, but looks like it goes down a little too far that way. Thinking maybe, nope, that's too big. Let's go this direction with the straw off the side. Sometimes I'm really picky about which sits in which direction, just so it seems like it's a little more Real? Is that the word for it? I am not sure. Put that right there. And we'll put this cute little martini glass. I think, I think this is a daiquiri. My favorite drink is a lavender daiquiri and it has Monin lavender syrup and fresh lime and Bacardi rum. I have it when we go on our cruises. It is my good luck charm for when I play trivia. So that's to remind me of my fun cruises. And I think, no, I don't think I wanna put anything there. I might put this here. It says Dr. Lemon. How cute is that? Put some glue on it. And I'm going to put it up here so we can see it a little bit. Okay. Now for some finishing touches, we are going to use the puffy stickers. There's two packs. I'll show you this one. There's just a little tiny. I love the dots. Some other little things that you could put in there. Then there's a package of foam stickers that are the tiny stars and dots and hearts. Oh, I guess there's some little asterisk too. So I like to use my uh, pokey tool, my original pokey tool that I've had for forever. I think I got this 
from close to my heart, right when they changed over from dozens of terrific stamps. Yes, I'm old. I am going to put this little pink heart down here. And I'm gonna put some little dots onto those. If I can find some little ones that will look cute. Yeah. We'll match that up with this dot here. Okay. And maybe this one. That might be fun. A little different color there. And I don't know if it's the same color. No, this is the green. Oh, darker brown. So I'm gonna push that on there. Okay, so here we go. We have the pop-up card with the die from Scrap Diva Designs as the base and the bow banner with that's on here is also from Scrap Diva. I'm gonna be sending this away for a swap. Um, I actually have three of these. This is the third one, but I wanted to, you guys to make it along with me. I'm not sure, what do you guys think about this Aperol Spritz? I don't know, we'll put it away for later. So thank you guys for joining me. I've had so much fun. I hope you've learned a little bit. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Be sure to like and subscribe and turn on your notifications. And I will see you next time.